Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about order of draw for withdrawing multiple blood samples. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the topic. So now comes what is order of draw? It is nothing but to avoid cross-contamination, blood samples should be drawn and collected in tubes in a specific order. And this is called order of draw. Next comes the purpose for order of draw. Now, why do we collect blood samples in specific order? Let's look into the purpose. To avoid possible test result error due to additive carryover and to avoid cross-contamination. This can be easily understood by a process called reflex, which means the chemical can move from the tube and enter the needle. Once the next tube is activated, it will have the previous chemical which enters this tube causing the contamination. For example, vacutainers contain different chemicals like sodium citrate, fluoride, heparin, etc. Now comes the order of draw. The recommended order of draw is first is blood culture bottle, second is coagulation tube, third will be non additive tube, and last draw will be additive tubes. So this will be the order of draw. But the last one, the additive tubes, also has a specific order in which the sample has to be collected. For your easy understanding, there is a mnemonic which goes like, boys like red, girls like grey. And the order of draw will be, blood cultures, light blue top tubes, red top tubes, green top tubes, lavender top tubes, grey top tubes. Now let's look into the color of a collection tube, the chemical inside it and the number of inversion times, which is nothing but how many times the bottle has to be shaken. First comes the blood culture tube or bottle and the inversion time is 8 to 10 times. Next comes light sky blue tube which contains citrate and the inversion time is 3 to 4. Next comes red color tube which is otherwise called serum tubes and the inversion time is 8 to 10. Additionally, serum gel tubes are also available which are golden or yellow in color. Next comes green color tubes also called as heparin tubes and the inversion time will be 8 to 10. Next comes lavender color tubes otherwise called EDTA tubes and the inversion time is 8 to 10. Last comes gray color tube also called fluoride oxalate tube and the inversion time will be 8 to 10. There are also other tubes in addition to this but this will be the order. So here are all the tubes for your reference. Blood culture tube or bottle, sodium citrate tube that is with blue cap, serum tubes with clot activator or gels which is red, gold or yellow cap, heparin tube with or without gel which has dark green or light green cap, EDTA tube with or without gel separator which is lavender cap, Sodium fluoride or potassium oxalate glycolytic inhibitor has gray cap. So this is all about order of draw which is also followed according to the institutional policies. If you find this video useful, please like it and please subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.